finishing off uh, Fight Arena real quick. Should get some good experience. Yeah, that's quite good uh, experience. 12,175 tech uh, experience, 2,175 thieving experience, 1,000 coins and 2 quest points. Bad, not bad. Oh, we got the 35 attack, 47 thieving, and now we are 41 combat. Nice. Let's finish uh, Trinome Village, I think it was. I forget what this quest name is. This one should give us some agility experience, I believe. I don't know what they're saying. Sutana and Tania? I don't know. Don't speak, uh, gnome, was it? Oh, this one gives the attack experience. 11,450 uh, uh, 11, attack experience, access to the spe spirit trees, a gnome amulet. I have no clue what it does. Oh, gives the stat bonuses. We have an amulet though we can use. And two to quest points. Okay. Well, that's nice. Our attack is now 39. Weren't we just 35? I think so. But that's that's an amazing amulet. At least to start. Obviously, it's not better than the other ones at higher levels. But yeah, that's that quest dead. Okay, we finished the uh, Grand Tree. So we got 5 quest points, 18.4 thousand uh, tech experience, 7.9 thousand agility experience, and 2,150 magic experience. And now we completed the um, access for gnome gliders. What do we go up to? Alright, so attack is now 43. I think it was 39 prior to this quest. Magic is 28, which is pretty nice. And agility is 37. We've got two agility levels on that one. That's, uh, as you can see, I was close to death. I messed up my safe spot, so I kind of got hit a 16 on this dude. Not fun. I can tell you that much. Not fun. But that, that quest is done. So I'm guessing this antique lamp that I got is from getting to 100 kudos. Because I didn't have it prior to that, and I only thing I did after getting the, the kudos for the Bone Bone Voyage uh, quest is to start the quest. So I'm gonna use this on Herblor. A thousand experience. Nice for twenty four Herblor. Hey, we actually had seven fifty uh, total level. That's nice. I didn't know we were that close. Hey, we completed Bone Voyage. One quest point and access to Fossil Island. Now we can do the bird, uh, birdhouse nest things. So that'll help with my hunter you know, from time to time, but it'll give me uh, tree seeds from the bird's nests. Hey, we finished Dwarf Cannon. Woo! 750 crafting experience, one quest point, and we can use Dwarf Multi Cannons. Probably won't use those for a while, but that's alright. Just wanted the crafting experience. We are level 10. I think we got five levels if I'm not mistaken. But that helps us get closer to the 20 that we need for uh, Elemental Workshop, I believe it was. So for the rest of it, I'm probably just going to do glass blowing with uh, Molten Class. Because that might be the easiest. I could be wrong. We'll find out. But yeah. Alright, time to finish off Daddy's Home. Boom. We hit level 8 construction, we hit 6 off of building the stuff for the quest, but we got 2 more levels afterwards. So we just need to get a little over 1 more level. We have to hit level 10 for uh, Tower of Life. So I'm going to go do that. This also gives me some more planks and stuff. So 25 planks, 5 steel bars, 10 oak planks, 8 bolt of cloth. Uh, 50 Mithril Nails, Valador Tablet, or Teleport, sorry, and a Teleport to House, uh, 5 of those. So, that'll help with leveling up my uh, construction to at least 10. 
All right, we just completed, uh, completed, I don't know what completed is, we completed Tower of Life. We got two quest points, 1,000 co uh, construction experience, 500 crafting, and 500 thieving. And we can kill the creatures in here, which we need to do some of for the Ardugne uh, achievement diary. So we got to 21 crafting and 16 construction. Which is pretty nice. I ended up uh, using all those planks that I had. I think it got me to 11, if I'm not mistaken. And then I did, I think, two more inventories of six. I had to clear out some inventory space for this quest because you need 11 spaces open. I guess you have to build stuff and you can't do it one at a time, which kind of sucks, but oh well. So I need, uh, I think, 24. Five construction in order to make clockworks, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll have to find that. I don't know where it is. It's, um, yeah, I need crafting table two. And I think you need like eight construction in order in order to craft it, but I need 25 in order to make the crafting table two. So I'll find another quest for more construction experience real quick. All right, so I'm gonna use my reward things from Tempros. I don't know what this big search is, but I'm going to try that. I guess it uses multiple of them at once. That's cool. Hey, we got a casket. But yeah, we're getting tons of planks. Which is very nice, because then that means we can level up massive amounts of construction. Surprised though, I was about to say, I'm surprised we haven't gotten any more feathers. Or any feathers, I guess. Pretty interesting. We have 92 more, so we've already used 49 of them. So let me just clear out some space and then I will use more. Alright, cleared out a little bit more. I dropped the, uh, the hammer and the saw. Hey, we got uh, soaked pages. Hey, we got the fish barrel! Nice! Now we can uh, fish more without having to uh, leave the fishing spot. So I think it can hold 28 fish, if I'm not mistaken. So that's awesome. Alright, let's open some more. Clear it up a little bit of space. We got some seaweed. Nice. Not really going to be too useful, but going to help. That's a lot of fishing bait. 1,400 fishing bait. Hoping we can get tons of feathers as well. Feathers and planks will be the main thing I'm going for. Aside from, obviously, the unique, unique items. All these fish are nice because they can help me get uh, cooking levels. I guess I ran out of uh, stuff to loot. Alright. So this is all that we got. It's a pretty good amount. 230 planks, and we got 60, 68 oak planks. Let's open up these caskets. 10 emerald rings, 8 ruby bracelets, and I can't open up the rest. Let me drop this real quick. Hit 8 emerald bracelets. Damn. Alright, I guess I can open up the rest of those later. Alright, I have to finish this uh, quest card. Uh, Garden of Death, I think it is. Yeah. So, 10,000 farming experience gets us to 34 from, I think we were 27, 28, if I'm not mistaken. And we also get one quest point. Hello, well, you've discovered the fate of the old ones. One, uh, you feel that there could be more to find. Perhaps you should continue exploring and see if you can fully translate the stone tablets. Okay. 800 total level. Nice. So we can go and do the um, tithe farm now, since we're 34. That'll be a good way. And then we can also get the seed box, and I think you can get the herb bag from there, but I'll have to check. Alright, we're finishing up jungle potion quest real quick. Boom. 775 herbal experience. And we do not get a level. That's unfortunate. Uh, 120 till 26. I'm trying to get to 30. Um, because 30 
is what I need to do the at first light, I believe it is called. Which is the one that gives me access to that area where I can do the hunter's rumors. So need that in 27 construction, but the construction shouldn't be a problem as I have oak planks and normal planks. So yeah, anyway. Okay, we just got level 30 herb law. So the way I was doing this, um, in case anyone was wondering, there was recently apparently an update for Winter Toad, or Winter Todd, however you want to pronounce it. And they added the herbs that you use, the Bruma roots, I think they're called. Um, they added them to the safe zone area, so you can constantly make uh, the potions. We don't get very much experience from each potion, so I was just doing that. I don't rec I don't recommend it, as there's probably other ways. Uh, but I was just doing that kind of AFK wise. It was like two to three experience per potion, and I only needed like four levels. So I was like, screw this. I'm just gonna do that. But I'm just using up my qualms now. I just used my marantils. So, I'm going to do this, and then we're going to start Eagle's Peak. Alright, this should finish off the Eagle's Peak quest once I can get to this dude. Should be... Uh... Oh, I can give him the parrot. Oh? Alright. Alright, one second. Well, apparently I had to come and talk to Nick uh, to, not Nicholas, uh, Charlie. And give him the ferret. Yay! 2500 uh, hunter experience, 2 quest points, access to eagle transport, which doesn't really matter for me, and ability to uh, box trap. But, the thing is, now we can do the um, as first light, I think it's called. At first light, not as first light. This is the uh, last thing stopping us from doing the hunter rumors, which would be very nice. Oh, if anybody's wondering how to get to the um, Baltimore place, just outside the East Gate, there's this um, Regulus Centro dude, or woman, I don't know. And apparently they bring you to the city, which is pretty cool. So I'll do that. I was looking around, I'm like, how do I get there? I had to look it up. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how I get here. But, yeah. That's how you get to the city. Well, this quest uh, was super simple, mostly just running around. The hardest part was just getting to the area itself. I could find out where to go for like 5-10 minutes. I'm like, alright, gotta look it up. So, then once I got into the area, this quest is just like run from here, down there, over there, back here, over there, and over here, over there. It's like, okay. Anyway, we got one quest point. 4,500 hunter experience, I might not get a level from that. 800 construction experience and 500 herbal experience. Access to the rumors, so now we can start knocking out hunter. Oh, we did get a hunter level. Nice. Didn't think we would since we were 46. Huh. And we got construction level as well. Nice. Alright. Well, that's cool. I like that. Now I can do the rumors. I wonder who I have to talk to. Alright, so I... I don't know the tiers for the rumors, but I'm gonna guess that I have to go with novice first. I wonder if it tells you in the hunter thing. Probably not. Um, no, it just it just says this. Oh, okay, there it is. So adept is at fifty-seven. See, so yeah, I gotta do uh, novice first until I hit fifty-seven. Then a rumor of a rare swamp lizard coming in. Once you find it. Bring back one of its claws. What? Uh, swamp, swamp lizard. Oh, I have to go and catch swamp lizards. Over in Canifus area. Alright, cool. That shouldn't be too hard. Also, one of the nifty things is right up here. I think it's in the northeast. Uh, yeah. Northeast, there's a hunter shop so you can buy the, the things you need in order to do your Stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So you don't have to go back to Yanil to buy them anymore. Um, but they do not sell rope traps here. Alright, one sec. Hey, we completed the first, uh, 
hunter rumor thing. We got the rare piece, which is the swamp lizard claw. Now we have to go back to the dude who gave us the rumor and we see what our rewards are. Alright, let's turn in our first uh, rumor. We got 2600 experience, not counting the experience from the actual catching creatures themselves. Alright, and select yes to get another one. So we got a basic hunter's loot sack. So there's a 1 in 50 chance to get one of the hunter outfit pieces, which increases the chance to catch uh, hunter creatures by, I think it's 8%. Well, I think it depends on the piece, but it goes up to a max of 2.5% with the whole outfit. There's gold, there's um, some bone shards, which are going to be good for prayer. And we got some gold, and we got some meat. Well, the meat will be nice once I can start cooking up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep doing the hunter rumors. Oh, what's my new rumor? I have to go and catch the grocks. They are located in Karamja. I need a teasing stick, a knife, logs, and an axe. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Just got a quiz master. I chose the uh, mystery box. It's, I mean, other than that, it's a thousand gold. Which isn't phenomenal. <laughs> I got medium clue. Oh boy. Um, you know, I'm stronghold west of Grand Tree. I have to dig. It's not that hard. I'll see if it's worth it. Hey, you got my first uh, hunter level from doing the uh, rumors. So I got 2600. Uh, experience as a reward when I turned in the rumor. Maybe it'll go up from when I do uh, the novice to when I do like the adepts or whatever. Maybe. Or maybe it's based on level. I don't know. Let's see what we get from this sack. Quasal feed. A uh, sack of quasal feed. I don't know what that's for. Some hunter spear tips. Oh, there's the plus bones, uh, bone shards I was talking about. These um these can be used. I think they're five per experience per bone, uh bone shard. So that's that's gonna be my main source of per experience from these rumors. Um, aside from that, just burying the bones from doing the hunting, uh, actual hunting part. So anyway, back to it. So for this rumor that I have now, I have to hunt a uh, wild cabot. Apparently, is the rare item. They're over in the Piscatorius. Uh, hunter area. I don't have fairy uh, rings, so I can't really teleport there through fairies, but it's deadfall traps, so that's pretty cool. Woo! We completed uh, Lake City here now. 24, uh, 2425 experience for mining, and our Dugne teleport scroll, which is this thing. I guess we can change where we teleport to. And one quest point. Now we have to do Biohazard, and then we can finish all the easy diary for Ardugne, or however you want to call it. I just call it Ardu, to be honest. So, knock out Biohazard real quick. Hey, we got a level of mining, too, by the way. We are 34 mining, yay! So apparently that scroll lets you actually teleport to Ardu, not change the teleport location. I didn't know our Ardu teleport was locked behind the quest. That's pretty interesting to find out. Uh, the whole time I played this game, I don't ever remember it being locked. I, th I thought you could just instantly teleport to here. But, uh, I guess not. We are about to finish Biohazard! Yay! Just go through all this dialogue real quick. Boom! Yay! 1,250 thieving, full west... Ardugne access, combat training camp access, and three quest points. Uh, now he's talking to me. I guess he's going to give me another quest. I don't want to start Underground Pass just yet. I'll come back and talk to him when I want to. But I'm going to go to the combat training camp place and finish up this uh, easy diary real quick. Yay, we completed the um, uh, easy... Achievement Diary, almost said Easy Hard Diary. That would have made no sense. Let's go and get our rewards. Alright, we're getting our rewards. So what do we get? Uh, tells me right in here. 
says that's the wrong one. That is so the wrong one. All right. So for some reason in the um, the quest helper thing here, it won't let me examine uh, rewards of something I've already completed. But anyway, you get an arty cloak that gives you unlimited teleports to the Ardugne Monastery. Uh, an antique lamp for 2,500 experience and any skill over uh, at or above 30, I'm guessing. I don't know. It says above 30, so I don't know if you have to be 31. Uh, double death runes when trading uh, cats to civilians. Jubster and frog eel drops will be noted in the character cre uh, creature creation. 10% increased chance to steal from a stall in Ardugne. And despite. Two points claiming the Easy Diary rewards grant a 10% chance at thieving from stalls in Ardugne. No such bonus exists as thieving from stalls can only fail when you're seen by guards or stall owners. Otherwise, you always, always succeed. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Never knew that part. We will use this experience lamp on Urblo. Should probably hit 32, Almaki. Uh. Yeah, nice. So now we have access to Herbivore, which is a good way to get some earlier herbs. 58, we can get the uh, herb sack, or at least we can use it. But yeah, we have to actually get it through Slayer or Tithe Farm. I plan on using Tithe Farm to level up my thieving, or my farming, so that'd be a good way to get uh, a lot of points to buy that. So anyway. That's going to be the end of this uh, episode. I plan on doing the leagues next month. It starts November 27th, if anyone's interested. Um, they've added the Valdemore area into it, which is pretty interesting. Um, they's, they've also added, I think it was called Weapon Mastery or something like that. I'm curious to see how, on, how well this will go, but I had not completely put my all into the leagues um, in the previous ones. Yeah, it's, uh, real life gets in the way, so you kind of have to go with it. But I'm going to try to put um, most of my time that I have into leagues. So you might have videos that are pre recorded being uploaded during that time, but I will do my best to make sure they are still entertaining because I know if you watch something that's boring, you kind of not want to watch it anymore. It's happened once in a while. But yeah, if, if anyone would like to join me doing uh, leagues when it comes out, I'm more than likely going to be using this account for the leagues if I can. If I can't, then I will show you guys what my name is when I create it. But that's only uh, November 27th, and I think it's for eight weeks. I think the league goes this, this time. But yeah, I think I might be going magic. I'm making a list of uh, the areas that I plan on unlocking and some of the items I plan on unlocking. But I figured I would knock out the requirements for hunter rumors and also get the uh, RD... Um, achievement diary for easy done. That way I have unlimited teleports to the monastery. Like so. And then that way I don't have to keep using the fishing trawler minigame teleport. Makes it so much easier to get here. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!